Monitor your student's physical activity with the easy to use and cost effective Gopher Fit Step Pedometer. It conveniently measures the up and down movement of the body when a step is taken, providing accurate MVPA and SPM data. Let's join our friends Alyssa and Christian as they gear up for a mid-afternoon workout. Open your Gopher Fit Step by gently pushing the tab away from the back of the pedometer to see the display screen and buttons. The blue mode button accesses three modes to measure your activity. To access the SPM level screen, press the blue mode button cycling to the MVPA mode screen. Press and hold down the red set button for 10 seconds. You have now accessed the SPM level screen. Cycle through the different levels by repeatedly pressing the red set button. The yellow reset button clears all three modes accessed by the blue mode button to zero. The reset button clears all modes, but does not clear the SPM level. Now that you know how to navigate through the settings, let's begin our workout. Before each workout, you want to perform an accuracy check. This allows you to adjust the placement of your fit step to compensate for various types of clothing. Place the pedometer on your waistband in line with the midpoint of your thigh and kneecap. Press the blue mode button until you reach the step counter mode. Press and hold the yellow reset button for 4 seconds or until the setting zeroes out. Close the cover. Walk at a normal pace while counting 30 steps. If the count is within plus or minus 3 steps of 30, you have an accurate readout for your fit step. If not, change the placement so it is slightly in front of your hip. Press the yellow reset button for 4 seconds and repeat the test until the reading is accurate. If neither placement above is accurate, try placing the pedometer at waist level on the back. Due to varying stride lengths, activity time is a better measuring mode than a step count mode. Let's take a look at the reason. Alyssa is taller than Christian, therefore her strides are going to be longer. While on a 3 minute walk, Alyssa's readout shows she's taken fewer steps than Christian, although they share an equal amount of activity time. Using activity time mode places groups on equal grounds for comparison. When you perform at or greater than your SPM level, you will accumulate both MVPA time and activity time. A fantastic way to assure your students are maximizing their workouts. Follow these steps to determine your MVPA level. Warm up for two to three minutes with a short walk. You can use this warm up to test the accuracy and placement of your gopher fit step. Cycle through the blue mode button until you reach the SPM mode. Press the yellow reset button for 4 seconds to zero out the setting. Now, let's go for a brisk walk. As you can see, Alyssa and Christian are walking faster than their normal pace with their arms swinging as they should. This walk should last for one minute. After your one minute brisk walk, check how many steps you've taken. This is your SPM level. Making sure you're still on the MVPA screen, hold down the red set button for 10 seconds and compare with the SPM levels. Round your steps down to the nearest multiple of 10. Press the set button until you reach your desired SPM level. Press the blue mode button and you're all set. The MVPA time screen has a table on the side that graphs your activity time in SPM. The numbers one through eight located across the bottom of the graph correspond to SPM levels. The numbers on the side of the graph represent time from one to nine minutes. The fraction at the top left corner currently shows one to one minutes. This means that the minutes are counted from one to nine minutes. If any of the levels exceed 10 minutes of activity time, then the fraction changes to one to 10 minutes. The numbers on the side of the graph represent 10 to 50 minutes. If any of the MVPA levels exceed 60 minutes, the fraction changes to 1 to 1 hours. The numbers are now equal to 1 to 9 hours. This graph allows you to monitor your intensity level for each of the SPM levels. This has been your introduction to the Gopher Fit Step. Please feel free to skip around this video for review of the functions at any time. Now, it's time to take your Gopher Fit Step out for a walk and enjoy the benefits of a fulfilling workout. A flat edge is needed to pry the front cover off the pedometer. Use a screwdriver or anything with a flat edge. Once the top cover is removed, use a small Phillips head screwdriver and back the screw out two full turns. Do not take the screw completely out. Use a toothpick or similar object to pry the battery out. 
place the new battery under the lip of the opening and under the screw. Tighten the screw. Now put the cover back on. 